Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival of This, and we return to Seven Days to Die, where we are slowly going about and trying to get towards the traitor. Uh, we basically cleared a couple little spots of interest as we were going by. I do see one little... one... Uh, looks like another construction worker zombie. With you, apparently. There was a hit. Yeah, got me over here. There we go. Take care of you. Uh, I know I'd seen a chicken beside him just now, but I don't know where it ran off to. We're trying to make our way to the trader. I do have a lot of ailments to start recovering from, so I'm also going to probably try and figure out a spot to kind of call a home base for a bit. We'll take that. And what do we got here? Okay, I've searched that. What was in there? Alright, just... I guess I can take that, since I do have a fair bit stockpiled. But yeah, depending on how close we can get towards the trader, if we find another building or structure... Oh, I forgot. I'll make up a land claim block when we get closer to where we want. As well as put down another bedroll, because I put ours down... Past the savage country in that one little house at the crossroads, I think it was. It's not, it's not that far of a walk back if I do just like focus on the walk back, but I think I want to try setting up a little bit more of a proper space soon. But for now, we'll just keep roaming about, seeing what we can find, and hopefully not getting too banged up. Looks like one of our armor pieces is a bit weak, so let me take a look at what's... Uh, do do. Oh, okay, I can actually repair that. So, you know what? Let me take that. Repair that. And yeah, we'll get all that repairing so that way our armor will hold up better. And we'll just follow this path through the woods, apparently. I don't know. Oh, uh, we got a fork in the road. Okay, looks like directly east will take us toward the trader more. I mean, what? I'm curious about where we should go. Like, thankfully, the fog or mist or whatever it was is cleared up. And I... Uh, maybe I should go for the trader just to sell some of our excess junk. Because the trader, what they'll offer are jobs in, like around the vicinity of themselves, so if I can get there, they will send me two points of interest to do stuff at. Maybe we'll try to make our priority to the trader there. So it's just that I do need to be mindful of our recovering health. With the broken arm we got, even if it is ca in a cast, I think that I'll slow down some of our attacks and abilities. So I don't want to bite off more than I can handle. I gotta play it a little safe and cautious for a bit. Take more of those. And I might as well snag what rocks I can find on the roadside. Yeah, we're slowly closing the distance. So maybe I'll sprint a little bit. Oh! Okay, looks like we got another little house up ahead. Well, maybe not so little. It seems like it is a two-story, at least. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll see what that has in it or around it. And we'll take that as our next spot for bedroll. Just because it looks like it'll be within 300 meters, meters of the trader, so it's not too bad. And if we do work in the vicinity around them, it'll be a decent little spot, even if we are just stuck on foot for a while. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, I take that. And yeah, we still have quite a few days before our first uh, horde night, so I don't think we have to worry too much yet. Ah, we'll leave the bandage. We got twitchy little bugger over there. There we go. I think that, yeah, that took him right out, too. Might as well deal with them early if we can. 
Nope. Got a hit on you. I don't know if that killed or not. It seems like it actually was. Okay. I'll read that. We'll take the two duct tape. And is there any info about this place? The Meemaw residence. I'll read that. And, I mean, it's not the most fortified of places, but it is a structure. Read that, take that. Oh, come on. Okay, you're taken care of. Oh, uh oh, lumberjack. Are you Mr. Mima? Okay, another schmack there. Another schmack there. Close that up. And just poke him through the door. Okay, he's done. And I heard... Oh. Oh, there you are. Had a little tumble down the stairs, did ya? I do wonder how zombies would... Would handle stairs. Ooh, looks like right in the heart. Because, <laughs> like, would zombies be coordinated enough to work downstairs? I think upstairs they would fumble their way up and still probably, but maybe downstairs they would uh, fall and tumble like that. Uh, nothing out here. I guess she must have been up in this room since there's no door on this bedroom. Okay, we'll take both of those, because... Ah, uh, you know what? I might even actually use the first aid kit right now to... get our health a little higher up again. I... Okay, I want to head downstairs. I don't know if it's my footsteps or somebody else's, but it sounds like somebody's either walking or knocking on something. Okay, maybe it's my imagination. It's not really a great spot, but... Yeah, I'm going to repair the doors, and we'll just... Put a bedroll in here. Put that down, wait for that to build, and then we'll put that down. At least this is closer to the trader, so if I do die and have to respawn, we're not way back past the savage country. No. No, there is something up there. There we go. Just managed to jump up and... And there we go. Got ourselves a little bit more armor and the claim block. Yeah, so we'll just leave that there. And I think I should be safe dropping down here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's not much, but it's at least a little something put down. And now we can keep working our way along. All oh, right, I was going to also make a chest and see about... Probably storing a little bit of stuff here, too. So you know what? Let me just take care of Twitchy here. You know, if you spent less time twitching and just more time focusing on getting somewhere, you probably might have more success. Let me just get some wood. I'll make the chest, put in some of the extra stuff that I'm not going to sell off to the trader here. And then, eventually, when I figure out where we are going to make up our base. Then I will come back and relocate all the stuff that's going to be stored here.
Oh yeah, sure, right there is fine. Okay, the springs. Put that over, the leather over, that, that, that. The iron arrowhead. I'll keep the corn on me for a bit of food. I'll put the forged iron away. Time charges only sell for 40, so I'll put those away. Same with the steel arrowheads. Hold on to the flashlight just in case. And actually, that reminds me, I should reload. Yeah, get that loaded up. So I think I'm good. We're moving a little bit faster now because we're not over encumbered. And we'll see if we can reach the traitor. Oh, I heard somebody die on the spikes. I think there's a little. Yeah, there's a little bunny right here. Ran head first into him. Eh, we'll put the meat and that to good use. Oh, but you know what? I still haven't even found some of the simple things like a uh, a grill or a cooking pot yet. So I, even if I do have all this meat, I can't cook it. That's not good. That's really not good. But the only way we'll remedy that is by roaming around. You know what? Let me take that. So that way it's there. There, we're cleaning up some of the litter. Okay, under 300 meters away. I can't remember what time the trader does close. Ah, we'll ignore the rabbit to the left there. Okay, we've got another fork in the road, but we got some stuff we can kind of sort through. Oh, another zombie just up to the left there. Um, I'll scrap the stone spear. We'll leave the rest in the truck. What does the engine sell for? Oh, you know what? Actually, we'll take that to sell, because that'll be a nice little bit of currents or er, tokens. Leave that. Oh, and I see buildings up there. Come here, Twitchy. There we are. Just a couple of pokes, and that's them down. Okay, a little bit of trash here. Actually, you know what? I will take the baton parts. It's not a lot, but just to get started with some tokens, anything will help. I'll read that. Not that I'm actually making or building towards clubs, but... We might as well read every magazine we find. I don't think we can transform them into anything else that'd be more useful. You're a little ways out here in the snoots in the suit, aren't ya? Dunk. There we are. Yeah, I gotta admit, I am quite fond of the spear. It seems to be holding up pretty well for us. And it looks like... Okay, so our abrasion only has eight minutes left to go, so that'll be pretty helpful. And we're under 100 meters away from the tree, or 150 from the trader, so I think... Ooh, looks like we got another big guy over there, as well as odd little path here. I want to stick for the traitor as our main focus. Okay, gotta go a little higher on that guy. God, I am missing every shot. There we go. And there's another one. Ooh, there we go. And here's the traitor. Only took us a few episodes and a few struggles, but we finally made it to one. I'll leave that alone. Now, the trader might actually have a lot of good stuff here that we can make use of. Because usually their compounds have a number of containers you can go rummaging through and getting free goods at. And we made it to Trader Joel's. So we'll shut this. And just do a little bit of roaming around to see if we can find anything. And a couple of porta potties. Uh, to do. 
Uh, it doesn't look like any containers sitting around, though. I was hoping maybe there'd be some free loot. No, oh, actually, maybe the truck will have. Yeah, we can search it. What do we got? Uh, we'll take the bit of glue. Destroyed workbench right here. Eh, probably leave all that if I'm honest. Oh, another destroyed work... Oh, chemistry station, actually. Uh, we'll leave the painkillers. Actually, no, we'll take those in case we do need for something. I have no idea what, but just in case. Uh, we'll take the stone shovel. Actually, probably should have made one of those earlier. Ooh. Destroyed forge. Okay, so we can make a dew collector now. And a lot of good stuff there. Ooh, and pop. Okay, I don't know if I could actually... No. Okay, so I can't grab any of the uh, crops that they have. That's all invulnerable because they're technically blocks that you break. But let's see what Joel has to trade. Ooh, actually... Just the thing for what's ailing. Oh, thank you for all the books out, Joel. Uh, any others? Okay, no, it doesn't look like any other books, but you know what? Maybe... I'm just wondering, can I hop? Yeah, I was going to try to hop the table there and see if I could get back there for what he's got on the shelves. Inventory, okay, let's see. We'll sell those, sell that. Sell the engine. Uh, sell the baton parts. I think that's all I really have and want to sell right now. So that puts us to... Oh, and the cash. Only 551. Uh, it doesn't look like they really have anything like weapon-wise. Oh, but we're a little shy from being able to buy one of those. Okay. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. Uh, no, I want to see about jobs. Travel, survivor. Uh, there's one only 488, but everything else is like a kilometer away, so I guess... Let me see where our spot is. Okay, so that's back west. So you know what? I've got just the task. Brilliant. I guess this kind of makes us friends now. Yeah, so that'll be back the way we came. See, that's the problem with we got the trader that is in the middle of absolute nowhere, so it's going to be pretty difficult finding jobs that are close by. And I don't have any kind of vehicle to speed us along to getting these things done either. But I think that's everything mostly checked and looted. So maybe I'll just try to get us back to our, uh, where we decide to set up for the night. There, um, there was also that path as we were coming up here I could try going along to see what's there. I'm just going to use one of my bandages just to recover some of our health now that we've gotten a bigger gap there. But yeah, this is probably one of the worst spots to have started started out with because we have such distance to cover for everything. Buried supplies, the only issue I have with that is how long it would take to dig and seat them out. Whereas for like a fetches or clears, they're pretty straightforward to complete. Let me just see where this goes. Nope. Ooh, right in the thigh. And, okay, that's getting dark. I don't like that. Okay, you know what? I don't know if this is actually going to anywhere or not, so I'm going to probably just get us back to where we've set up the bedroll and everything and see plans from there. Let 
Yeah, I don't want to be out when it gets too dark. As much as we've been tackling the zombies decently well so far, night really ramps it up for things. Oh, there is... Mm, I did see, like, buildings to the north along this road. Uh, I don't know if I want to try tackling that yet, though. I feel like I want to get... I'm thinking next week maybe we'll go back to that, or go up to there. Yeah, for now we'll just get back to this place here. I think it'll be a couple of hours before we'll have to worry about the zombies getting more restless. So I can try and figure out what we should do from here. Everything is so sparse and apart from itself, it feels like I can only get, like, one or two things done per day, and then the rest is just spent traveling. And it's getting pretty dark. Oh, I didn't even search the washroom here. Take that. Corn seed I'll leave behind. There's nothing else in here. I've not I did grab the flashlight for Oh, nope. Uh, I'm pretty Oh, there it is. There we go. F is turned on. Uh oh, just didn't even look in here where the zombie was. Take that. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll wear the goggles. They should help us for doing some looting. Oh, didn't even look in this. Ah, just some nails. Actually, truth be told, that's something I probably don't need to be taking. Oh, that's actually kind of nice to find. Ah, yeah, not really too much here. I'm surprised how little luck I've had for finding a cooking... Never mind, there's a cooking bot right there. I was gonna say, I've been having bad luck not finding any of them, and of course, sitting right in front of me, there it is. Okay, but that at least means we can do something with the evening ahead. So we'll make up a campfire here. Oh, I probably should have looked at selling some of the pipe stuff, but you know what? Eh, maybe it's not too bad. Yeah, make some baked potatoes, make charred meat. Ah, uh, water. Alright, I need a... Alright, I can put... Now I can put that on, that's... Cook that. Do that. Uh, let's go for that first. And we'll just let that go for a while. There we go. Kind of cozied in here. Alright, so... No... Okay, so shock... Actually, I'll hold on to the pipe weapons just in case for now. The time charge feels like something I could easily hurt myself with, so I don't think I want to do that. Pipe baton. I think I'll put in here. I'll keep the shovel. Painkillers I'll hold on to just in case. Okay, the pipes I'll put in here. Which I should see what I need for the iron arrowheads. I'll put the that in... Yeah, you know what? Let's just craft those right now, so I have a little bit stronger arrows to use. Put that in. The bones I'll put in. The glue I'll put in. Hold on to the 9 mil, just in case I find any ammo for that. Uh, the nails, I don't think that.
Okay, so that can only hold 15 rounds. So I might as well hold on to that one little spare round there. Might as well have one of those. And a bit of water. And... do. I don't know if I have anything else I can really do while I'm just waiting for the night to come on or not. Oh. Didn't even search these things. Uh, yeah, I'll take the bullet casings, I suppose. I can just toss them into the chest and they can sit there. Now I'm thinking that is about it for the immediate area y'all checked out. I mean, it's not very well fortified given you can just walk through the gaping hole in the kitchen here, but... We've at least got a little start going. Yeah, I'll just repair that. Uh, do -do. Yeah, I don't think there's anything... Nothing behind the paintings. Figured I'd just check in case. Yeah, 22 just hit. Although, still very bright out for being what it is. No. Oh. I thought that attached to the wall. It's just floating in the air. Okay. Uh, just do. Yeah, the rest I'll... Pr Actually, I'll probably transfer the leather over. I don't have any immediate uses for that. There we go. Not sure if I should tempt fate by standing out there or not. Although I'm sure I'd be told, one thing I could probably do... I can just put those there for now. And yeah, the zombies, will if they do come up, they can jump that, but that might just kind of stall them, and I can knock them, maybe topple them down the stairs every so often if they do come up here. Because the only ways in are now through here, which we've got a bit of a fortified door behind, and up here. Oh. Oh, no, yeah, only those areas. I was thinking this door as well, but we saw that just completely drops off. Now those will take a bit, eight more minutes, and then our arm will be fully healed. And I could even take shots at anything coming up the steps here, too. Again, I don't exactly want to provoke anything coming after us. But, okay, so let me check how am I doing on the spears again. I'm three books away from getting the iron spear recipes to be able to make that. And the steel, steel I have to get 39 total, so that's a ways off when it comes to the bows. Uh, there's the compound, but the wood bow. Five more levels, then I'd be able to get the recipe, but I need to have bow parts for that. Uh... There's exploding crossbow bolts, but I thought I also had exploding arrows, too. Oh, I know why. There we go, yeah. I need a workbench to make the exploding arrows. Rifle grenades gone medieval. He just six and up. And that's just all this. I'll just tick off so I don't have to have that constantly there. There we go. And I only have one point right now. That's as far as we can go with that. You know what? We'll increase Lucky, Lo Lucky Looter. It does say we have 10% to our loot bonus, so maybe we'll find better stuff with those going. Yeah, 
You know, we can... Unless I want to be dangerous and living out there. I think we must just stay here until we are a little bit better out. No, there's not too much I really have as focus to, uh... Making. Any recipes? Uh, oh, I can make thick 44 flag. Uh, do, do, do. Picture some paintings. If I really want to, I could. I think for the most part, there's not too much I can make right as we are. Oh, actually, I can make... Uh, you know what? I will scrap this then and make ourselves up a level 4 stone spear. Okay, the bow is still only at level 3, so can't do anything to that. Stone sledgehammer, I mean... Yeah. Ah, you know what? I'll only make 10 more arrows. Save what we got. A shovel, that's level 1. Ah, we'll make some cornmeal out of that. Yeah, first aid bench. I actually need more medical stuff to start making those. So that's nothing to worry about. Yeah, we're basically kind of where we are at. We just gotta wait things through. Somebody... Yeah, here's somebody schmacking. Oh, yeah, I got a visitor. Okay. Not sure why she stopped moving there. I'm not sure it's like lost sight of me and then just... Yeah, I guess that's all it was. Yeah, so she broke in through here, and then ran her way over there. Now, it sounds like that was the only one around, because I don't hear any more knocking or attacking. Yeah, it's kind of weird that, like, just coming up here, and all of a sudden it's, like, completely vanished to her. Well, that's why I don't want to be too uh, bold and going out when it's dark like this. Because as much as you might get some experience, you can also put yourself at risk too. I was able to take down that one there. Alright, anybody else I can see from here? Eh, not really. Looks like things are pretty sparse right now. Which is honestly for the best. It might be boring, but that just means that... We should be safer for it. Oh, didn't mean to pick that up. There we are. Yeah, so we'll probably just while around till morning. In the next episode, we'll go back for that job we've got there. As well as probably just some more looting and general exploring. 
Yeah, nobody around, which is what I like to see. I wonder if I should look just putting some more doors in place, though. That's probably why I couldn't place it. There's just that door frame. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's there. That's there. I, mean, I don't think it's going to do much, but I can put a door here just to help as well. There, so it's a little more sheltered and uh, secure here. Not by much. But, again, it's just meant to be a little bit of a safe spot till we need. And you know what? I will use another one of the bandages just to top us up to full health now that everything has basically healed. And I'll probably just leave that going through the entire night. But yeah, not off to too bad of a start. We didn't die the first night, which is good. I'll just have to keep going along and see. I don't know if I want to fortify this for the Horde night, or our first Horde night. But we still have, like, a lot of days ahead. So I think we'll just kind of leave it, keep going as it is. And yeah, maybe what we'll do is we'll end the episode here, since it is just going to be waiting out the night. So thank you guys for joining me on this episode of 7 Days to Die. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, shoot in the comments right down below. And until I see you all in the next video or episode, Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.